this girl here, she's always been really smart. If she thinks the tiniest thing is off, she'll start debating with buts and ifs, like, like someone at least twice her age. But to all of us, back in grade school, she was pretty strange. Well, I, I guess she came across as scary. Did she get bullied a lot? No. It was just, well, not many people wanted to be friends. I always saw her sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I decided that I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her, if I could. Then one day, her beloved rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. She didn't take it well. So, without telling me or the teachers, she went to their hutch, crying and, and apologizing over and over to them. <laughs> that was over ten years ago. Uh, a memory that's been tucked away in my brain, covered in dust. <laughs> when I saw her again last year, I was... I was reminded of that time. I just can't not keep an eye on her. I... I know. She always goes and just quietly shoulders everything herself. That's why I want to protect her. I wanted to help her bear whatever weight she's taken up. I truly felt that. But... Well, I don't know. It was like... It was like I didn't know her as well as I thought I did. Hell, I couldn't, I couldn't understand why I even cared. I wanted to find out more about who she really was. To go and, and see her. Come on, you, you have someone you really care about, don't you? You mean my sister? Yeah. My parents died in a fire. And then Maria fell ill to an incurable disease. Above anything else, I want to save her. I want to see her smile like before. That's what I decided. That's why. Ah, now I get it. That's why you need the $500,000. Uh, mm. It's clear we both have someone we want to protect. And neither of us can afford to die now. Right. So let's get out of this room by both picking ally. We'll work on getting out of this shelter after that. Okay, let's get this over with. Yeah, back to the room for us. Don't get the timing wrong, okay? We have to enter them at the same time to... I know. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. by choosing Betray, right? You said that. But you forgot, Carlos. There actually was something. What? What are you? Three and Q team, currently dead. The X door will be able to be opened. Sure. The same thing. That's right. If you die, Diana and Sigma will die as well. 
No. So then, you... Don't take it the wrong way. I didn't choose Betray so I could escape. I know you'd do anything for the little sister you love. So that's why I figured you'd choose to push Betray yourself. So, essentially it was a defensive move. I... I only wanted to protect Akane and Fai. Uh, huh? Junpei? Carlos? There's a Japanese saying, Assume everyone you meet is a thief. It means, you should never trust strangers so easily. Everything went well. We now know that Q Team and D Team are safe. Oh, so the votes were balanced. You mean from back at 1330? I'm pretty sure that's the moment. So, what time is it now? Uh, zero, 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 0003. Does that mean we're in the new year? If the time on this watch is right? I guess so. Whoa, 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 but wait. What if time ended up going in reverse? What are you talking about, Junpei? <laughs> I, um, I just thought that maybe that was the case. So, uh, what do we do now? This is becoming a regular thing. Wanna play hoops? There aren't any balls. We can use Gab. Junpei, you're really... Then how about that box? Seriously, what the hell is this thing? A force quit box. I know that. I'm asking what exactly it's going to end. Whatever it is, we can't do anything unless we have the password. Hmm. A password. Huh. What is it, Carlos? I feel like... I can almost remember. What? the password to open this box. How do you know? Just shut up for a second. I think the password has to be... Right there on the tip of my tongue.
Don't we hang up? All votes have been received. Results will be displayed on the monitor. Did she get bullied a lot? No. It was just... Well, not many people wanted to be friends. Uh, where? 
You okay? Is... Is this before the A-B game? What? Okay... Uh, should I keep going? Y yeah I always saw her sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I... I decided I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her if I could. Huh? Then one day, her beloved rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. She went to their hutch, crying, and apologizing over and over to them. How, how do you know that? Did Akane tell you? No. Then why? Uh, so, gonna stay silent, huh? Uh, fine, I guess there's no point talking about this. Let's just get these votes. No, wait! Something's weird. Hello, pot calling kettle. Whatever I chose in the AB game, it was always the worst outcome. What are you talking about? Um, uh, Junpei? Carlos? I think... I understand. I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. Shift? Space-time-human internal fluctuating transfer. A phenomenon where one's mind crosses space and time. Akane, is... is that...? The power we used a year ago? The ability to send and receive information through the morphogenetic field. It's a simpler version of this. You're saying me here right now came from a different history? Well, your consciousness at least. Say you go back in time to when your parents met, using a car as a time machine. Know what movie I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, of course I do. A high school protagonist almost gets it on with his own mother and tries to get his awkward dad to marry her. That's the basic plot, right? Yes, the story revolves around a boy. We'll call him M. Now, according to the plot, he's successful at getting his parents to marry. But history ends up changing slightly. Upon returning to his own time, his father's a famous science fiction writer, and he's rich. Huh, I guess the hierarchy was switched when his dad punch the neighborhood bully. But, did you notice something odd about the movie? Just what happened to the M who lived in that fancy house? Huh. Well, now that you mention it. I, I, I don't think the M from that history appears in the movie at all. There are two overarching types of stories about time travel. The first type states that there is always only one history. Meaning, if someone changes the past, that previous past is subsequently erased. The other type is where multiple histories exist. This is the many worlds interpretation. One of the more widely believed hypotheses on multiverse theory. The world and universe split into branches as a result of one's decisions. It's a setup where each branch is able to exist in some form. Okay, so back to the movie. First, let's consider what happens with a single path history. In this case, do you know what M is doing back in his own time? What he's doing? Committing a form of murder. Murder? Well, think about it. Uh, the M who grew up in that fancy house, let's call him M2. 
M2 should have had a variety of amazing memories from his life. Maybe he met a really cute girl he liked, or was a winner of a contest. The possibilities are endless. All of those memories, every single one was overwritten when M came from another history. Huh? But the history that disappeared was poor M's. You're right, that's true. What was erased from existing in time was M's history. But the only memories that M retained uh, are those of when he was poor. So, in effect, the life that M2 lived through was overwritten, all because of the actions that the protagonist M took to save his own. I'd say that's the same as killing someone, don't you think? Next is the multiverse hypothesis. In this situation, M2's life is never erased. Instead, a mystery remains. So, where did M2, the version who remembers being well off, up and disappear to? Where he went? This is what I think. On the same day that protagonist M used the time machine, M2, for some reason, did the same as M and went back to the past. But then, he did the exact opposite of M. The opposite? Mm-hmm. He stopped his dad from punching the bully. So, when he returned to his own time, it was the world poor M had lived in. Are you saying that they pretty much switched places? It would keep everything consistent. That's depressing. What is? Uh, M2's situation. Well, he ends up getting the bum end of the deal regardless of which scenario happens. Damn, that's pretty unfair. Yes, that's true. But, uh, this is rather difficult to say, Carlos. Your case may be exactly the same. What? Your consciousness could have come from another history and taken over this body. In exchange, the Carlos who was here originally... No. Another me is in the other history? Uh, there's no use in getting upset. You simply need to accept that that's what shifting is. But wait, Akane, how did you know that Carlos is able to shift? He mentioned before that he knows which path has death at the end and which is safe. I just sort of knew, too. An arsonist set fire to our house when I was 18. My parents didn't make it, though I was able to get my sister Maria out. But we didn't make a clean escape. Maria fell into some sort of coma. They first thought that she had carbon monoxide poisoning. But that wasn't what it was. Reverie syndrome. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. We believe this is what your sister has. Maria is either receiving large amounts of information from the morphogenetic field, or her consciousness cannot stop its jumping between multiple histories. Then she is like us. Yes, though it's slightly different. In Maria's case, that power is running rampant within her. That is what the reverie syndrome really is. What? If a way can be found to control the ability, then she could recover from it. Is that true? I see. That's good. So there's some hope for her. Hey, Carlos. When you dove into the fire to save your sister, you were able to hear her voice, right? Yeah, I was. Carlos, I'm here! 
Over here! Maria! Maria, is that you? Just stay there! I'm coming to get you! No matter how you look at it, there was no way her voice could reach me. But I realized exactly where she was, and I found her quickly. That was the first time. After that, I could hear victims crying out in the fires, and which way would lead to my death. Oh, this, this ability we have is triggered by intense danger. When we're threatened by a crisis, it's easier for us to access the field. I get it. So that's what it was. So, Carlos, Junpei, shall we shift? Huh? What? There's really no reason to play the A-B game. Well, as it stands right now, it's incredibly likely the both of you will decide to pick Ally. But instead of going through that, it'd be better to shift to another history. It'll work! The three of us will definitely be able to do it! But only... if we find our lives in danger. What do you mean by danger? Hey, uh, 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 Kane? Hmm? You're really turning the reactor into a bomb? I told you earlier, didn't I? Our lives have to be in danger for our shift ability to manifest. But this, this is absolutely nuts. Even if we do manage to do this, the us who are from whatever history we switch with will end up... Do you plan on dying here then? Oh. Jump to. Um. Well. You you didn't consider that part. Well, if we knew in advance, the effect of the threat would be lessened. You're not affected by any of this at all, are you? That's not true. Here, look. My heart's pounding so fast. You want to check it? Uh. Hey, it's kind of getting down to the wire here. Ah, shit! Okay, uh, we're just gonna have to go for it. Jump to the same history I am. The same history? Which one? Think! There's a history when we didn't get all ones on the dice rolls. The moment right after that. Are you insane? We're just gonna get ourselves killed! It's okay. I have a plan. 30 seconds until detonation. All right. I trust you, Junpei. Ah, damn it! Junpei, if we die, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, let's go. Oh.